Welcome back to the show. Now we're kicking off this part of the breakfast show with a topic not many Malaysians discuss. Insulation. Now before you flip the channel, <laughs> listen for a little bit. Heating or in our case cooling account for up to 50 to 70 percent of the energy used in our homes. Mm -hmm. And inadequate insulation and air leakages are leading causes of energy waste leading, leading to higher electricity bills. Yep, have we got your attention now? Cool. So, and besides that, you're also depleting the ozone layer. So, to tell us more about how you can insulate your homes and businesses better, we have with us the Chairman and Deputy Chairman of the Malaysian Insulation Manufacturers Group, So Chin Te and Thomas Heldgard. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very now, much. I guess before we get into this whole discussion about insulation, you know, it's a common misconception that insulation is only needed in homes and businesses in colder climates. Mm -hmm. Would you care to dispel that notion for us? We'll be very happy to do that. <laughs> In this basic form, an insulation material is actually a material that reduces the flow of heat through from one side to the other. Mm. So if you think of a thermal flask, if you want to keep your coffee hot, you mm -hmm. put it inside the flask and right. it's hot when you use it. But you could also choose to put your cold water into the flask ah. and when you drink the water it's also cold. So building insulation, mineral wool insulation, is actually working in the same way as a thermal flask. When you put it into your building, for instance, on the ceiling. On a very hot day, mm -hmm. the heat is actually sort of reduced the flow into the house. Right. In the cold climate, the situation is that you want to keep the cold out. And Therefore, the you in. put insulation in your house, you heat up the house, and the warm air keeps inside the mm -hmm. house. But because the material, I have an example here, works both ways, it doesn't really matter if you have the cold air in a northern climate like my country, mm. outside, or you have hot air like in a tropical climate, Malaysia outside. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. material works both ways. Okay. And since you mentioned material, you've got a really interesting example of that. What exactly is it made of? Okay, I'll take that part. <laughs> well, insulation is, can be made from any materials, uh -huh. but uh, the best part from our perspective is obviously mineral wool. It's made from stone wool or glass wool. And the main reason is because it's, combust it's not combustible. And Thomas can demonstrate. Yeah, we have a little demo for you. Lots right. of exciting <laughs> stuff on the show today. <laughs> oh, all, always interesting to see if it works live, right? Yeah. But let's okay. try it. Yeah, okay. So, so basically, the, the material here, which is made from stone, yeah. right, actually uh, withstands in a fire. It retards the fire spread. Let's see if this one works. Oh, don't put your hand do that. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Uh huh. So when I hold the flame to the product, mm -hmm. you wow. can see that it glows. So it glows. And the, the miscoloration is because there's a little bit of, of glue to keep the, the stone fibers together. Right. So that is what you see. But I could actually do this now for hours and hours and nothing would happen. And it won't burn through. It, it won't burn through. It's no heat. All right. Oops, oh, there see? is no heat. There's no heat. Yeah. So imagine it's a flame. So it leaves your house. Obviously, it's very effective. Yeah. You can put above your ceiling. So it's completely right. fire resistant. So you can yes. see the fibers don't change at all. The glue is burned away. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's an added effect of this mineral wool that mm. it, it saves your energy, but also in case of a fire, it retards or actually prevents the spread from one room to another. To another. Now, are all buildings and homes in Malaysia using this material? No, it's so not. Far? So what are any. they using yeah. and how dangerous is it? That's actually in Malaysia, they didn't use some aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. Aluminium time. foil? That's right. And, and that is our insulation or is that protection that's uh, our fire barrier? I have no comment on that one. Okay. <laughs> He's like, it's neither. Okay. I don't want to do it. I don't have, but, to have anything But to maybe do it's that. interesting to mention that actually this material is used quite uh, extensively in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. For public buildings, for hospitals, for I rest government that we have buildings. To in terms of uh, government regulations, no? Print shopping malls. Print towers so are heavy on every yeah. floor because yes. of the fire requirement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two hours fire safety. Mm -hmm. uh, the airport for acoustics, because you mm -hmm. go to the airport, the floor is granite. Mm -hmm. And the, the glass is, uh, the wall is glass. Mm -hmm. It's very noisy. They are on every floor to accept the sound. So the main benefit is so many things. Fire retardant, uh, is uh, sub sounds, and also uh, retards heat for mm -hmm. homes. Mm -hmm. right. Now you also uh, mentioned the uh, soundproofing. So tell us about, I mean, we see a lot of these. Yeah. I mean, if you do, well, we're used to it because if you do voiceovers and stuff yeah. there yes. in the booth. But the how would it work in a home or in a I business? A, a very good example is, for instance, the kids' room. 
the teenagers <laughs> <Yes>. watching MTV <laughs> or playing PlayStation is very loud. Yeah. Uh, if, if this product was in the partition walls, mm. you would actually insulate the kids' room ah, from the rest of the house. Right. Mm -hmm. it, again, it's, it's widely used in commercial buildings to mm. keep out road noise, but, but in, in homes it's not very well recognized. No, yeah. it's not. Our developers uh, are not in the habit of um, you know, having this as part no. of their... No, because of the extra, I give an example, we yes. made presentation to housing developers, right? And after the, uh, the presentation, the, the senior managers are wanting for the house, which is great. But when you ask it for the projects, they say no, because it's additional cost for the cost, for the mm -hmm. house. And even the one, it's cost about less than 1% of the cost of the house. Right. They say no to that. Mm -hmm. uh, because they say every dollar to the house is less to the pocket. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here today and we are so pushing I have I have a question though okay if if you put it in when uh, in, during the construction of the house it's a lot easier mm. but let's just say if a house is already constructed okay. if I so Joanna I wanted to yes. put it in how would you do it and where would you put it okay very simple uh, assuming you ask us to install it today this yes. afternoon right our guys will go to your house mm -hmm. go up through a manhole which is accessible mm -hmm. and within three hours they install it finish it you will, you will know that it's there so that it will just be above our ceiling? Above, above yes. the ceiling, ceiling. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Come in, in yeah. shapes of, of uh, two sheets, yeah. two by four, mm -hmm. and it's very easy to lay out. Yes. Mm. And finally, before we wrap up, you mentioned that you know there is a, a cost involved. Yes. Perhaps tell us uh, how much and how it will help you save in the long run as well, because your electricity bills are reduced, correct? I mean, yes. especially if you use a lot of yes. air conditioning. Yeah. yeah. It, it's very simple because there's a, a direct payback. You have mm. an investment of for a small house, one percent of the investment, maybe two, three thousand dollars for right. a house, and you save on your energy bill. Mm -hmm. So if you only do this measure on the ceiling, you could easily save 25, 30 percent of the Electric bill ceiling. linked to your, yeah. your cooling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another very good in, uh, uh, thing about this is it's maintenance free. So it's not like your aircon has to have maintenance, right. you have to change every 10 years. It's basically a natural material made mm. from glass or stone, and yeah. it just stays there. For the for the duration of the building, okay. It also protects our environment because it reduces yes. CO two emission. It reduces CO two emission yeah. because yeah. when you just use less energy, uh, yes, mm -hmm. basically you reduce less CO two emission. Great. Right. When you when you go to uh, the the big surveys made by uh, governments or, or mm. big research institutes, they tend to rank all kinds of green measures: mm. photovoltaics, lighting, solar power, biomass, insulation, and this yes. one always comes out as one of the best and the easiest and most mm -hmm. profitable. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the first few things you can do to make your house yeah, very easy, a lot yes. more sustainable. And it's only about 2,000 ringgit a house. Mm -hmm. so it's Which is reasonable, reasonable if you think about it in the long run. And mm -hmm. be there for the life of your house. Right. right. There you go. Increases you so the value much. of the house also. Definitely. Yes, right. <laughs> also. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But uh, yes, we've never much. had such an interesting discussion about insulation before. Yes, <laughs> and I love the demo. There you go. Uh, a lot of benefits for uh, uh, having your house insulated. Yeah. So, so thank you very much, gentlemen. And uh, thank you for sharing that with us. And uh, we hope all of you have taken note of how insulating your house properly can not only save you money, but can save the, the environment as well. Yes, it can. And, uh, we need to take a quick break. <laughs>